Hey guys, welcome back to the AR Project. My name is Adam, and I'm joined once again by Will, Sam, and Robert. And we're bringing you episode 9. So what's up, guys? Hey, man. Nothing much, man. What's been going what's on? Up? Haven't talked to you guys like all week. Yeah, it's been about it's been a, a week, huh? It's been a busy week. A lot of work, yeah. a lot of school work. Facts, dude. All it is has been busy stuff. You know what like happened, today? actually? Uh, one of my friend's birthdays was on Thursday, and... I don't know if you guys ever heard of EDP four four five. What? Yeah, um, I know what you're talking the, about. The, all right, hold Speaking on. Like binary. Is, no, no, no. Um, <laughs> no let me what? see if I can share my screen. Hold on. Um, EDP four five. What? EDP four four five. All right, here we go. Wait, let me share my screen. Discord. So basically, code name. No, it's this guy who is a. Uh, He's oh. he's an Eagles fan and he's a meme for uh, many <laughs> reasons. <laughs> yes, and he's a YouTuber and he um, so basically yeah yeah yeah. So he okay. just he doesn't care about anything that he says and he'll just say literally anything that he wants to say, and he'll be very explicit with the things he says too. And so we oh, thought I the think perfect I saw the Chipotle aftermath. Hilarious. Yeah yeah yeah. And so we thought like the perfect storm for it would be. Uh, we got my friend a uh, cameo, you know, like when they all speak for like a birthday shout out or something. Oh, yeah. we, did, we got a cameo of him saying <laughs> some stuff that I can't, I can't put to air because of how violent and demonetization worthy that it is. And I think it might have been the funniest waste of money that I ever spent in Can my life. Can you say with like some bloops? Not, not like, like we're bleep. monetized though. It's not like we're monetized, <laughs> but like um, the. There's a little bit of words in there that that probably shouldn't be said. Because I mean, you can bleep them out. Because there's there's one, two, three, four, five of us that aren't qualified enough to say some of the words. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <I> <laughs> so, uh, okay. Yeah. So long story I short. I read you loud and clear. Right? So long story you, short. Yeah. We uh, are we you had a madness. The robot? You said five. Oh yeah. <laughs> I am. I'm, in <laughs> I'm including right. the recording software. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I so, know. So, what you just made him say something super offensive That's we were like funny. we were like yeah like this is our friend's birthday like uh, we gave him some like feeder lines like always oh, like a simp or something how much was the cameo it was, it was we split it so it wasn't expensive per person but i think it was like 47 bucks or something jesus but it was get him to say something but yeah so what we did is we gave him like feeder lines like oh the kid's a simp or something or like he's really like he speaks like really loud for no reason you can hear him from like 10 minutes away and basically and like we had the and like so we gave him feeder cool. lines and at the end we're like be as brutal as you want it would be funny and then he just like i pardon but he literally just like wrapped him into asshole it was the hilarious it was the funniest thing that i've heard in my life i'll show <laughs> it to you guys i'll show it to you after but like it's Dude, so my, funny uh... My my dad got my stepmom for her birthday a cameo from a uh, iced tea. <laughs> 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 and, like had him, he had him saying some because yeah uh, he's on uh, Law and Order uh, SVU and she loves that show oh, and yeah. uh, she's a lawyer so like he was having her, uh, him just say some like really funny stuff. And it, it was definitely worth it. It was so. Funny. I want to get a cameo. Those seem funny as hell. Dude, they're so funny. I don't know if I want to like spend Wait, fifty Ice bucks. He's on uh, Law and Order now. He was. Yeah, he's he's been on it. Yeah. Yeah. Really? What? Yeah, yeah. Are you mixing up? Rapper. Are you mixing up your Ice Tea and Ice Cube? No, I know Ice Cube. No, Ice Cube has like I don't like know Ice Tea Law and Order. I know Ice Cube is like he's he's now into acting too. I think. Yeah, I think so. But you know, I don't watch TV like that. I don't watch movies like that anymore. But <laughs> Ice Cube. I don't even remember the last time I saw anything like, with he was Ice Cube. On Ice Cube was. Yeah, that that literally, dude. I'll just sit. Sometimes I'll just sit there and just, if I could. Now I can't anymore because it's not on any streaming service. But HBO, I would just binge the Friday series when I was bored because it's an iconic movie series and it's hilarious. Friday. I'm gonna be honest, I've never seen it. So uh, it's so funny. Yeah. I haven't seen it either. Is that the one? Is that what like the thing they go? Damn. Yes. Yeah. I was literally yes. gonna say that's okay. that's the movie with where the meme comes. They go. Chris Tucker. Yeah, yeah. Chris Tucker. Damn. It's amazing. Yeah, that's the meme. <laughs> <laughs> but it's more than the meme. It's, it's like the funny. ultimate stoner movie. That <laughs> and <laughs> what? That and like Mac and Devin. Like, like that's what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Rob. It's that and Mac and Devin go to high school. That's the Holy Grail. Have you, you ever seen a uh, Soul Plane? Yeah. You've seen that? Oh. Yeah. Honestly, I don't no, have movies. At you all. know what movies you actually know? coming out? Uh, they're doing Borat too. 
Never seen Borat one. Ooh, dude, I saw that. So funny. See, yo, yeah. dude. <laughs> Borat yeah. two is coming out like in a week or two or something like that. End of really? the month, I think. Is it the end yeah. of the month? I know, like, I know what, they've been filming. What's Borat it, one about? Filming it. It's about like, what is it like, Kyrgyzstan or something? Some guy like in Kyrgyzstan and he moves to America or some shit like that. He just causes a madness. You got to watch the movie. Yeah. It is hilarious. It's an yeah, iconic got, like, movie. Yeah, like real people's reactions. To yeah, them. it's like it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it's like half like acted, half like real life scenarios. Who's the guy? Is Sasha Baron Cohen? Yeah, he's a and he he played the role like really well and like he's back to do it again. So it's it's gonna be. I, I'm gonna watch that, it honestly. when it. That movie yeah. is so fucking funny. You guys have seen like Super Bad, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, have you? Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. yeah right, good. Say. Good. Good. It's an That's iconic a fucking movie. funny movie. Imagine. My brother has like the McLovin fake ID. <laughs> In his wallet. You know what I see all the every time at school? Yeah, literally that. every yeah. single college kid has the tapestry <laughs> yeah. with McLovin on it. <laughs> like, hey, bro, look. <laughs> there was also some kids from uh, the prior year, uh, last year, at um, my school that had the tapestry. It was the uh, SpongeBob one, and it said to-do list, and it said bool. I'm like, okay. Uh, <laughs> cool. That one in, like, I don't know. What's all these psychologists the, um, Like the Tito's uh, ones, those are always at college. Bold and brash painting. Bold and brash, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I get, when I get my first apartment, I want to do that. I want to get bold and brash as one of the like frames on I my like thing. I want like a bold so and people, brash like welcome mat. If people come over, they be like, yo, what kind of painting is that? Like, who did that? I'm like, Squidward. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, um, what have you guys been, because I like literally haven't talked to you guys like all week. Yeah. So like, know, like, like, well, like, what, what have you been up to? I, I know you work at that <laughs> bank, but yeah, I've just been working a lot. Uh, what? Oh, you know what I did today? Actually, I did uh, an escape room with my oh, girlfriend and her family. You guys yeah. ever do one of those? No. No. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Yes, I have. Yes, fun. I have. I did one in cool. New York. Where'd you go? Uh, there's one in uh in downtown. Okay. Uh, yeah. Downtown. Yeah. 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 Right, right by the casino. They got really? one. Dude, we All did right. not. We didn't escape. Really? We, we, we fucked up. Me. You press the panic really? I think it's pretty new. You press the panic button? No, we didn't. We used, used all of our lifelines. Like a... We used all of our lifelines and we could not get out, dude. It was, it was whack. <laughs> yeah. Escape room? We got just so like close. Puzzle, puzzle, right? Yeah, it's like you're just like in a room and you have to like find yeah. the clues. Yeah, they give you like a scenario and like you have like an hour to do it or something. Yeah, yeah, it was like a, it was like a vampire theme thing, and like, there's like a bunch of rooms actually, or like maybe it's like one big room, and they kind of like, uh, separate they them find through like doors and shit like that. Yeah, and you gotta like find clues and find keys and stuff, and it's pretty fun. I know oh. when I did ours, like we had to use so many questions. I wanna uh, imagine yeah, like, like that. being a person that works there and like having to go through so many people showing up every day that just suck at it and can't do it, and they're like. Uh, I gotta go back and get these kids out of here because they just like they didn't <laughs> open the right drawer of the fucking. Bureau I would hate like I do is sit and watch these people like on monitors, <laughs> just go through fucking rooms finding fucking keys. Yeah, and you're just like sitting there like oh they press the panic button let me open the doors and up here through the wall that I push the brick and it turns around like. You, like Literally. pull the book on the bookshelf. Yeah, you pull the book and the whole room just tears apart and like you win. There, one of the puzzles was there was like a piano and like you had to play like certain notes on it or something that you literally like found in books on a shelf or something. Like <laughs> they just get so crazy yeah. with it. And like when we did that, like the shelf just opens into a door. It was crazy. That's so really? <laughs> no, I'd just be on the piano playing the uh, what is it, chopsticks or something. I'd just be on the piano playing, just like whatever I could. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you do this week? Are you on campus, Sam? Well, I mean, not right now, but I mean, in general? Yeah. I am. Yeah. But uh, I live off campus. Like, I live, like, probably, like, a mile away from campus. But, yeah, I am on campus. Basically. Do you live at Almeida? No, I live in a house. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm by, like, the, uh, the police station. Oh, okay. If you remember that. Yeah, I remember that. You do oh, anything why, interesting Why is that? Why do you remember where the police station's at? No, the police station is just, like, really near campus. <laughs> I thought we were going to have to say some activities that might have went on. Mm-hmm. You want anything fun this week, Sam? Oh. I went grocery shopping. Hey. <laughs> that, that sounds fun. That sounds like adulting <laughs> at its finest. 
You know what I saw today that blew my fuck? Have you guys seen Mario Kart Live? No. Like, what do you mean, like on stream? No. <laughs> the, it's a new, it's a new <laughs> game. I think I like saw that on Twitter or something. Mario Kart. Yeah, like, so VR you, or like what you, is you buy these like little um, carts, and they have like you buy like a Mario, like you buy like whatever character you want, and it comes with a camera on it, and you just like link it up to your like switch. And you put it on the ground, and you like set a course around your house, and you control on the switch what like, and you drive around your house like with the actual cart, and it puts like the AI, like you race against the computers through your own house, so you but like your car is like actually moving. Wow! So you can around in your bedroom. What? That was kind of cool. You just like race around in your bedroom. Yeah. That's actually sick. You just like set up like they send you like these little arches called. you put around your house, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or whatever. Like look it up. Look up Mario Kart Live. It's like it's pretty cool, and like you can race with your like friend. Like let's say like Robert had like Luigi and I had Mario. You just like plop it on the ground and hit and just start. And you can like the cars actually move and shit. Wait, Will, are you like, looking it up? The... Dude, that's cool. Are you looking it up now? Yeah, it share... just was. Can you share a screen? Show me to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see what this looks like. To be fair, this it's pretty cool. So is it like you actually like have a cart that you're driving around, yeah. or is it just like yeah? So no, there's actually like an RC car. So does that mean so like... they're like miniature like versions, like miniature like little race cars in your house, right? Yeah, and they like they use a cool. camera and you literally drive around your house. Just That's... like click on a video and like skip through it. It's pretty cool. This Holy camera. shit! Each course is made by placing That's mad. Yeah, you just you put those it? up around yeah, your house. No, I I don't have it. It came out like like a like I don't even know what it is together. But it just it's so like, cool. I know. The cat dude. The cat. It's a cat. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a cat. It's <laughs> your cat is chasing your fucking cart because it like it literally like goes around your house. So it's all in real time too. It's just not like a picture. It's really cool. Yeah, and like you can use other. You can like you know have like two people racing too. I just saw that. I thought it was really fucking cool. That's insane. like if I had that as a kid, I would go fucking nuts. Yeah, dude. That is so insane. Yeah, it <laughs> runs into the cat. Yeah. <laughs> what? That's so insane. I remember like we used to have to like. You know, pop over DS and like do the fucking land play or whatever. Picto chat. Ah, <laughs> oh, picto chat was great. You know what? It kind of like sparked <laughs> my DS everywhere, everywhere to like restaurants and like see if anyone else had picto chat up. It used to work. <laughs> Remember when we used to go um, like back in elementary school and when we go on field trips, we would bring our DS and we would like oh pick, yeah picto chats and like different yeah. cars. And yeah. <laughs> Picto chats on the bus. Oof. Yo, with a field trip Wild. when you have picto chat on the bus. Oh Real question though, do you guys ever make the entire screen black and then use the eraser to write a word, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it took way too much time. I never did that. It took way too much time. Those are what that's what the psychotic people did. <laughs> my dad used to take They're it and like make flip notes. notes with it. Like my dad would literally make flip notes. Like he he wanted to use my DS to like draw flip notes and you just use picto chat and hit like the L and R button and it would like Make a fucking flip now. Bro, do you remember that some of those went, like, viral? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. People made animations and stuff like that. Yeah, they made, like, actual, like, like, not skits. That was, I like, that's a... I used to, like, fucking, like, hide my DS under my pillow so my mom didn't, like, confiscate it. Like, hide it, and she'd, like, it would just be, like, 11 o'clock at night. Or just all through the night, I'd just sit and, like, watch these fucking flip notes for hours. I was actually talking about, like, uh, my parents were talking about the DS's with some of their friends, too. They're like, yeah, we get the, like, when we were there younger, like, we got the kids' DS's and all that. And I'm like, it's weird that we had this conversation now because we were just talking about it, like, I don't know, like an hour ago or something. Oh, really? Yeah. You know what sparked the thing after uh, you were talking about Mario Kart? They, You know they're making a Nintendo Land and, like, an amusement park in Japan? Really? That doesn't yeah. surprise me. I can assume I mean, that it's going to be the, sick. When, as soon as I stepped off the plane in Japan, and or I'm sorry, get off the train after my plane, uh, my uncle took me to this mall, and I'm not even kidding you, 300 people dressed as Pikachu, huh. like in yeah. suits, and they had a choreographed <laughs> dance They're with all the Pokemon. Pikachu, so yeah. is that it's like the most the... Japan thing possible? <laughs> I'm not like, even kidding. Like, like the, the week we were moves. there was like, was, was uh the pokemon parade oh so that like, been, like it happens like once a year and like everyone had like pikachu tails and like pikachu ears and like they no shit had like see if we can find a video like 
It was the weirdest thing. Japan, Pikachu, Parade, Dance. Like, you have to understand, like, here we go. This is literally what I saw. Hold on, I'll share my screen real quick. This is literally what I saw. Oh my god. <laughs> I literally saw that. Like, Dude, that, that's like... <laughs> back when, like, Nazi Germany was a thing. That's, just, that's all it reminds me of. Oh my god. <laughs> like, they had this, like, huge, like, yes! That, yes. That fucking outfit. And then they had, like, all these other Pikachus come out of those doors and start dancing and stuff. Jesus. I, I, I laughed ran so... By so, I laughed so hard. Oh, yeah, then we saw the fucking... <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> Pikachu outbreak 2018. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a virus. The Pikachu pandemic. <laughs> That's spooky, man. Honestly, like, if I saw that, like, I'd just be kind of freaked out. I thought it was great. I thought it was hilarious. Like, yeah. I was, I mean, I, I had, like, a 16-hour plane ride. I'm, like, dead fucking asleep. You must and be, like, high see... from jet lag, and you see 300 Pikachus in the same costume <laughs> walking around in I unison. Like, <laughs> I, like, got out of the plane, went to another, like, fucking dimension. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst. Like I know the like the jet lag feeling and like especially connector flight when you're in a random territory with a different time zone and you just don't know what's going on. Yeah, we left it like Tuesday at 11 a.m. and we landed Tuesday at 11 a.m. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like what the I'm fuck? Traveled. Time travel. Crazy. What was it like in Japan? How was that experience? Fucking so fun. Like everyone has like these box car like all the cars are like boxes just because like they fit better there's so much traffic you must have been like we, we like biked everywhere like we would go on like 40 minute bike rides to places and take the f oh my god um crazy fucking story like as soon when we got on that train actually before we went to like that mall um where like the <laughs> Pikachu fucking parade was we um we just take this like two hour train ride and i so i had my in this one bag i had my laptop my passport like six hundred dollars cash my ipad it's like six dollars like six hundred dollars cash how much is that in the end though <laughs> six thousand yen about six thousand no sixty thousand <coughs> well i'm dying a hard, I know a dollar is a hundred so like you know I don't know how much fucking yen, but yeah, it, uh, I left it. So like we got off the train and I left it on t on the top of like the, the like where you put your bags, and the train like went around like fucking half of Japan. So like I I lost six hundred dollars, my passport. Like I thought I was gonna have to like <laughs> like do some shady <laughs> shit back home. Yeah, and it's stuck in Japan but, forever. Like, everyone there was so fucking nice. Like so nice, you you don't like it's part of their culture to like literally respect everyone. Like that is like the right thing to do, and n it, it was on the train for a day and a half, and I, I eventually got it back. No one touched anything, no one stole anything. I'd be gone in a second. Wow. In America. Yeah, yeah. If you, I know. If you went to as like soon New as I got off, but if you went to New York, that wouldn't be ten minutes. That would be gone. Yeah, six hundred dollars cash. Now, within like, 10 minutes, your whole identity would have been stolen. Yeah. yeah. You would have had and your all, credit cards maxed out. I walk into the station. We reported it lost. Um, we got on the train and, like, we had to go pick it up. And all I did was, like, show him my high school ID. <laughs> and he was like, you're okay. And But I was you're freaking good. out because my uncle speaks, like, pretty fluent Japanese. And I don't know any Japanese. So, like, I'm stressed out because, like, how do I tell people that, like, I don't have my fucking laptop? Like, my uncle saved the fucking day. But... A it lot was of funny. people in uh, Japan, they know how to speak English too, right? Not a lot. You'd be really? surprised. Yeah. I was thinking like that. It's like very broken and little. 
Well, well, yeah, yeah if there's any, it's well, like they're very not going to speak as well English as as well English. Yeah, they're not going to speak. Yeah, they're not going to speak English at the level that <laughs> that somebody born in America and raised there for their entire life would. But no, yeah, but English like, as a second language is pretty much like of... everywhere. So many countries yeah, learn English as like as a primary second language, language. especially yeah, I mean, like business, like a business though, like primary no language is English. English. Everywhere we went, they're like, because my uncle lives in like a small little town. Yeah, but like we go to like a restaurant. Like, uh, you know, I, they knew some, like, they knew how to, like, say, like, you know, what a sandwich was, or, like, what, you know, but like, I, I couldn't, yeah, like, nothing, nothing at all. So, my brother and I were in, we were, like, the Japanese Costco, and, um, we just, <laughs> we started just, like, saying random shit, like, in English, like, around, you know? I mean, we were, like, 16 and 15, so it was, like, kind of vulgar. But we were just walking around like, oh, have you seen my, like, boner? I can't find it. Like, loud in Costco. And, like, no one looked at us, like, weird. Like You guys you must know? have been laughing so hard, especially we you two at the age that you were. We like, were laughing so fucking hard. You two must have been laughing, cackling at your own jokes. <laughs> and it's like, people were taking pictures with me because I'm, like, Tom. I was going to say, you must have been, like, the closest yeah. thing to Yao Ming there because like <laughs> Americans are like traditionally much taller than the average Japanese person. And yeah, they they're like they would call me like literally like Godzilla and like mo- they like monster like literally <laughs> like <laughs> next time they need to get rid of Godzilla they know who to call. Yeah, I was just like we went to and they have like every like they have a museum of like everything. Like, we went to the fucking cup, no- you know, like, cup noodle? Yeah. We went to the cup noodle museum. The museum they had, like, of everything. Yeah, they had, like, a Godzilla museum. They had, like, they had so much shit. And, like, they had, like, the world's, like, third fastest elevator or something. So does that mean our went episode 10 page. special is going on a trip to Japan and going to every museum ever? <laughs> it's probably cheap as hell right now. I bet. But, yeah, that was, was my... The food was fucking delicious. Did you like, have sushi? Yes. So much sushi. <laughs> like, we went to, like, those places where, like, they roll around, like, the sushi, like, on, like, the conveyor, conveyor belt. belt. Yeah. yeah. Ask that. So good, dude. Everyone goes to, like, everyone, like, looks at people in California that do that, and you're like, yo, like, that looks so innovative and cool. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, like, we were there, and, like, my brother didn't get, like, any, he didn't, like, try any new food. He just got, like, McDonald's or like, like, you know, American things. Dude, how like, is I want to try a lot. It was like, weird. Do they weird. sell octopus? I don't know. I couldn't read the menu, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I assume so. <laughs> they had a lot of characters. Like, did you have octopus though? I did. I don't, I'm not a big fan of octopus. Yeah, I, don't, I never it's really liked any seafood. Your mouth. Ugh. <laughs> my uncle was eating like live little things and I was like bah. <laughs> can't do that Bleh. like big thing for me is like I can't like eat something if I see it alive not cause I'm like it just like grosses me out not cause like I'm soft about that stuff he belongs to PETA <laughs> no exactly the opposite of that like it's food <laughs> it's food I just if I like see a lobster like crawling around and like throw, toss in a pot, I just can't eat it. Really? You can't eat it no. once it's already tossed in the pot and taken off the face of the universe. Like I can't like watch it be put in the pot. Oh, just close well, your I, eyes. I agree with you cool. to an extent. Like it is weird eating it after you're like already seen it alive. But I don't know. Yeah, it's just like we like. But if a know. lobster is presented in front of me, I'm not gonna go. Oh, I'm not gonna eat it because at one point it was alive. No, yeah, no, it's not that, it's not that the fact that I know it's been alive, it's the fact that I, like, watch it squirming. Yeah. Did you, did you draw too much of an emotional tie to the lobster? What was his name? (laughs) Larry. Larry. (laughs) It was living like Larry till it was no longer living. Couldn't. Mm, Ah, goo lagoon. I fucking, I watched, like, three hours of Spongebob the other day. Dude, facts. I have it on my Amazon Fire Stick, and I just watch, like, on Prime Video, like, I'll just put Spongebob on when I get bored, and I'll just binge. 
What'd you say, Sam? The uh, newer episodes, like me and my roommates, we like watch a couple of the newer episodes of SpongeBob. They're so weird. I won't do it. Like, yeah, extremely I, weird. I, I don't think yeah, I've ever weird. watched a new episode of it. I just watched the ones. I watched the newer watching. one about like SpongeBob getting like drugged with like LSD, and he like saw like some weird yeah you like sure you're on nickelodeon did did, yeah. did, jo did joe rogan ask him if spongebob no, no. tried dmt <laughs> <laughs> he like he he ate like such a nasty krabby patty like he had he like tripped ain't no way oh, okay. i swear so they did, no like, uh, way what, it's like they said he had like food poisoning or something but it was like a metaphor for, yeah like, an acid trip oh my <laughs> god so I can find he it. ate the nasty patty like he has like these weird visions. Ugh, I don't remember what it was, but he like sees like a monster. He like sees a weird creature. But yeah, I I don't really watch. Like after that one, I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna stick to like season one or two. Yeah, the the newer episodes are really weird. They like it's a whole different like animation style, and uh, it just like doesn't feel the same. There's, they like old they SpongeBob. It's goaded. Every single character is so stupid. Mm. Really? It's just like they're all like have one brain cell. People love stupid humor now. Yeah. Well, That's what's trending. The kids, the young kids now, I guess. Young kids are gonna be stupid if they watch that the whole time. Did you see? Uh, I, you probably haven't, but have you seen like what the? Because I used to watch Pokemon a lot as a kid. Mm. Have you seen? Did you? Because I watched one for like I was with mm. my brother. Like, you want to watch Pokemon? He's like, sure. I know what you're gonna say. Did you see what they do? The new Ash. <laughs> yeah. Look at this real quick. I saw it on Twitter. That's why I know. I was like, <laughs> like that's Ash. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Something's like, not right about that. Like what? Look at him. That is so gross. He looks like he's 47, not Look 10. Look at Pikachu. <laughs> What the fuck? Like, isn't, he, isn't he supposed to be 10 no matter how many times they boot the show? So is, he looks like he's 50. Yeah, this is the Ash I know. Wait. Oh, God, that's... Is that a comparison? Yeah. Something like Jeez. that. It's got to be... Like, that's the Ash I... Oh, that's like a newer... That's the Ash that I know one, right yeah. there. Oh, look my at Pikachu's God. fucking face. Look at, the look at Pikachu in the background. I know. <laughs> They, like, made Pikachu, like, Pikachu used to be fat as fuck. What, is, what do the squiggles under his line, or his eyes, mean? Right? That's, I mean, he always has these, uh, but it's so, like... I was like wasn't that his so, facial structure or so something? so prevalent. Like, it, this is what Pikachu used to look like. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> what is that? He's eating a donut in one. <laughs> Yo, stop. Lollipop. That's I used the to have that, uh, that last one you showed. I had that Game Boy game, the the specific like yellow edition on um on the Game Boy Color when I was a kid. That thing was incredible. I might still have that actually, but I don't know. It's it's in the depths of somewhere. My grandma bought me like a Game Boy Color, and I just used to play the fuck out of. It Dude, was on eBay. Same. I used to play the fuck out of it, and I don't know if you remember this struggle because you might not, but like. You had to use, it wasn't backlit, so you had to find a light for it. So you would just be, mm -hmm. like, posted up right here, and, like, the lamp's, like, one right of these, there. Uh, you just be under the lamp trying to play at night because you can't get the light. I used to have this. Here, I'll show my screen one more time. Yeah. I used to have this little attachment for it. This thing say, right here. Say swear. I might have the same thing. No, I never had that. I had this thing. <laughs> Wait, what's the thing? Yeah. It, like, it plugged in the side. So you could have yeah, a little, I remember you had just uh, fucking see. Remember for your DS, Adam, you had that like uh, cheat thing. Oh, Game Shark! Actually, I, had that. Play? I had that. I had that too. The so action you replay. Go out to GameStop yep. and eBay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you just like, that was you could, like cheat Pokemon. You like can get Pokemon like whatever Pokemon you want or something. It was some yeah. ridiculous shit. Like, like walk were... through walls and. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, it, I remember I used to piss my brother off because like he didn't know I had one. And we do like the live battle, and if you like hold select, it looks like a one hit no matter what. So you and it works like an online. So like I just used to like battle him and fucking one hit him, and he'd like cry. <laughs> was, was that the same <laughs> time period as when he demanded the fudgicles after he cried? Yeah. It's so weird how it's changed though. Like you had to go out and buy like an extension to your DS to go cheap, but now you just like 
one click of a download and you're already like hacking on call of duty Facts. Yeah. think so about how weird. easy it is to run somebody's ip and then think about how hard it was to hack to like to get into like a ds or something like just to you see kids now who are just days. booting people offline. Like, it happens all the time in 2K. Like, people will just boot each other offline because they're losing yeah. a game or something. They'll, yeah. they'll, like, dox them and be like, oh, yep, can't play. Internet's offline. I miss the days of uh, waiting out at GameStop for, like, a Modern Warfare. Like, Modern Warfare 3. Jeez. Like, waiting outside. Okay, I want to tell you this I used to this wa- I waited for Modern Warfare 3 outside Best Bar GameStop. <laughs> I want to see if you remember this unlocked memory of our childhood. So, I think 2013, maybe, like, around the... So, GTA came out. And, um, one of our friends who I haven't been... I I couldn't name yet, and, um, his brother, who was old enough to buy GTA, because we were all Uh, 13. And every... Yeah, 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 yeah. And everyone just fed... He had, like, $400 walking into GameStop going, like, can I get, like, eight copies of GTA, please? (laughs) And it was just... It was him at, like, 13 and his brother who could... His brother was, like, 18 or something and he could buy it. And then he comes in with, like, eight copies of GTA. He's going by houses. It's like he's flipping packs. He goes by people's houses. He's like, I got you. I got you. I got you. I don't know. He's got. He had to have been because he had to buy the game. Oh no, it's, it's seventeen for mature games. Oh okay. He's and, like in his mid twenties now. Yeah, I was saying. Either yeah. way, though, like, we all got the. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I did. I know. I know you did. And uh, yeah, the ones with the map on it and everything. So like he'd he'd have this bag with just like here's your game, here's your map, here's your game, here's your yeah. map, and then just. <laughs> Sam, didn't you just have that map above your TV, in your room? Yeah, I had both uh, GTA 4 and GTA 5 map. Yeah. <laughs> I was Your having house was this... so fun for like, just we just play GTA, fucking hang out. Remember, uh, Hillbilly Dry Bells? Yo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys were there when I did Drunk Hobo Fighting. Was somebody there when I did that? Oh yeah, yeah Drunk yeah. Hobo Fights. Get on top of the crane, yeah. just drink all the, the, the GTA beer and just start beating the shit out of each other. <laughs> <laughs> It was so funny, dude. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was, was having I was, this uh, discussion with one of my people at, in my apartment, and um, he was saying how GTA, like, it's been pissing him off that GTA hasn't come out with a game in, like, seven years, which obviously makes sense. But at the same time, like, I had the counter-argument of, like, a game like that, like, has to play out the max of its value, especially from a business standpoint. Like, they just came out with GTA Casinos, like, less than a year ago. And that's still making them more money than they could yeah, have ever so thought they were. And, like, especially now that it's a console year, this is the best time you can expect a new GTA. But if it's not for that, that, then, like, uh, I wouldn't release that... a GTA until a new console comes out. Like, I know you want it to happen every couple of years or one year, but, like, it just wouldn't be the same. It wouldn't be a good game. Did you see that trailer where, like, they were introducing with the next-gen consoles and, like, the little Rockstar logo popped up? Yep. And they're like, GTA 6? GTA 6? And it just says GTA 5. People are like, ah. Oh. I saw, I saw Red a Dead 3. Like, what's that? Tweet where it was like, there's three GTAs on uh, PS2, but it's one GTA from PS3 to PS5. <laughs> I mean, GTA 5 is making them so much fucking money. I don't know why I they. I know, dude. They're making so much money. It's like the age of microtransactions, which effectively ruined video games, also made him. That's the weirdest I mean, thing to think helps. about. Big corporates, you yeah. know. Big corp is literally surviving off of microtransactions, but like, think about the games that you played in your childhood that you liked the most. Right. Imagine I mean, like, how trash that they would be it. if you had mo- if they had microtransactions. Imagine how compromised your experience would be with your favorite games. Yeah, I mean, like you used to like okay, you pay like forty bucks for like a game, and you'd have the game, and that's it. Mm-hmm. And now it's like okay, sixty bucks, and if you want like more stuff you got to drop it's like there's no end like there used to be like okay like you can spend this and this and you get all of it but now it's there's just no end because they just keep releasing shit and it's like you have fortnite ruined everything that's no that's the battle pass system you know who ruined everything was it it, sports games and i could talk about this in a different episode because i could talk about it for more than an hour but like the concept of microtransactions in a sports game made it so pay to win that it became the new normal and it ruined 
the competitive aspect and the skill gap was like almost eliminated at one point and then they had to find a way to make the skill gap worse or better so they effectively made the game worse and kept the microtransactions so that's why everybody hates them where they are now like i, I don't know if you played like the last Assass like two assassins creed ago like you used to be able to pay to get further in the story did you actually yeah but oh, like dlc and stuff you mean no, no, I mean, like, like if you wanted to go faster, they called them, like, what do oh. they call them, helpers? It's, it was Why called, like, because there was so much grinding it. in the game, like, you had to, like, grind and grind and, like, do all this Why shit. Why the to, like, hell would advance. you buy a video oh, game so that you can't grind? So they took it, like, grind. the app store type right. of technique. Yeah, and it's, like, yeah, a, it's like a fucking chore. Like, yeah. they purposely make the game, like, a fucking chore. And, like, oh, here's, just pay $3, and we'll... we'll will help you out you know it's like fuck like why like why i never bought the game but like why would you ever do that i can't imagine that i can't imagine that that's horrible Fucking eels man like i i you know I, I was on twitter and i saw this like it was like a kind of meme thing but i was like damn that's kind of powerful I don't know. have you guys seen the office yeah yeah you know the part where Fucking Andy says, like, I wish there was a way to know you were in the good old days before you actually left them. Yeah. I was I like, think he actually Damn. said that. Did he actually say that? Yeah. Or did someone just, like, put, like, some text below? No, no, he actually said that. Stuff. Insert bottom text. Yeah, I, I watched the episode. I was, I was like, Damn. Like, that's so oh, true. if you want to get philosophical, we can get philosophical. But, like. Well, I'm just saying, like, we didn't even know we were, like, making memories. We were just having fun. But that's the point, like... dude. That's the point. If you go a whole life living, like, trying to find the good old days or, like, trying to look for the better times next, then you're just effectively eliminating the memories that you create now because the point of having memories is to reflect on the times that you've been having. No, I know. It, I'm just saying, like, the fact of, you know, like, we'll never have those type of memories again. Yeah, but you have you create different memories. Yeah, but, you're yeah, gonna but like, that, like you know, like member berries, and then you're gonna say that in your forties about your thirties, and like. Accepting. No, but like everyone says, like, you know, because you only get one childhood. Yeah. You know, and, and the childhood is where like the innocence up. and right. That's what I'm saying. Is like I wish I could have like stopped for a little bit to appreciate it while yeah. I was there. Fair enough, but you know, I feel like there's uh, there's only room to grow from here. I mean. I we're all considerably young people who are getting ready to ship out from after college and whatever plan that brings us to is whatever it brings us to and I think there's only up from you know in terms of potential. Yeah, no, I, I think I look forward to my future and shit. I, I didn't just, I didn't you know. think that we hit our peak already. We were like, yeah, I wish I had my childhood back. <laughs> no. No, no, it's not that. It's just that you oh, know, I get it, yeah. There's just something about like everyone like it's just stuff you don't see anymore. Like, you know, kids biking together Yo. and like you know kids walking and biking that's just that's just some shit that i don't see anymore that we always did if you see kids together like they're like on hoverboards huh they're, like on like one wheels <laughs> i've never seen a kid on i've never seen a kid on a hoverboard <laughs> about like two hours ago i saw some i saw like three kids that going down my street on a hoverboard really or like well three hoverboards yeah that well like hoverboards three month trend I mean, it was just like yeah and that was so bad too. Remember when all the the batteries would just blow up on them, and they would just like it would compromise the health of so many people. It was like some cheap thing from China that like kids were like six hundred dollars. Sam, you had one, didn't you? Yeah, I did have one. And didn't I was like so it, scared Adam, didn't you like, have didn't one too? Burn someone's house no, down? I didn't. No, have the, one. Yeah, yeah, one of them did. One of them burned a the house down. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like Sam, when you when your when your battery was about to die, didn't it just not warn you? It just turned off. Yeah. Like. like, like what? Like, I what if you're going I'm, down a hill or something? And it, it just, just turns launch on. you, dude. You know, one of our friends was, like, playing around with it in my house, and it just died on them, and they just, like, their face just went splat right into the countertop. It was so funny. Jesus. <laughs> that had to be hilarious. Remember, remember the sophomore lock-in, Sam, when, uh, when oh, St. Yeah, George it tried it out? I oh, that. my God. He was like, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it was almost as good as the recurve bow that he owns. Oh, my God. He used to be. Oh, I meant to ask you guys this. Do you think RD is listening right now? No. I, I, uh, it would be cool if he was. I haven't heard from him, and I wished him a happy birthday a couple of years ago, and he never answered me, so I haven't he, heard um, from him in forever. He texted me the other day, actually. Um, 
he bought like a he bought a PS4 again and then he bought Call of Duty and was like, yo, if you want to hop on play some zombies, I'm down. And hey, I was really? like, I don't know if I can't. Yeah, it was like maybe five days ago. Huh. And I told him, uh, I was like, yeah, like if you're down, like if you're back into gaming and all that, you can come hop on Discord with all of us and say what's up. And he never replied. <laughs> Maybe he just doesn't want to talk to us. Yeah, maybe he's erasing part of his life, but I mean, that's whatever. <laughs> I just found this video of people fucking dying on cover on hoverboards. <laughs> oh, oh, he had a was that like Is a dog, dog or something? Yeah. Yo, oh, poor dog. I know. <laughs> I want to start a reaction channel. Oh, just us sitting there watching hoverboard fails. Fuck reaction channel. <laughs> I mean, I'm bad, but like... Whoa! I, I just, it's like such a. I mean, they make so much money, but like. They make so much money. <laughs> like, you know, 80% of the stream is like, their screen is like their face. Oh, is it? And they're just I like, thought it was like the little, like, down here, like, the I feel like if they bugs. switch. They don't say anything and they're just like sitting there, like, for half of the video. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine a try not to laugh challenge like... that was filmed actually trying not to laugh. It would be the most boring thing in the world. Imagine like a try not to laugh challenge has to have a, like some sort of fake in it and clickbait and everything in it. Like you have to you have to laugh or else you won't get like. Yeah, the guy. Imagine just sitting here like... straight faced. The guy who does you know the video where it's like it's when it's Wednesday, my dudes. Yeah. This that's all his channel now is like try not to laugh videos. Have you seen a uh, too mad? No. Is not try to laugh. He's it's like he's like no sense of humor. And <laughs> if anyone makes him laugh during the stream, like with like Twitch donations or something, he gives him ten thousand dollars. Really? Oh my God. Crazy. Has anyone made him laugh? A couple people, yeah. So he just <laughs> give away ten bags just because he laughed. He probably makes that. It's such a good scheme. Yo, I want money like that. I want money where I can but just I can laugh and give away ten bags. Donating. I know. Dude, literally. Not a bad idea. I want to get back into that once school is done. Oh, you know, oh, I was talking to my, my brother about this the other day, going back on like the, I don't even get to like member berry-ish, but. Member berry. <laughs> we were uh, <laughs> talking about manhunt and shit. Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> and I had this like idea. Um, like, you know the movie Tag? No. Like like that like like lifelong group of friends like plays tag yep. and like they never stop. Mm -hmm. I was like we should do that with like Manhunt. <laughs> like that'd be a sick fucking movie. How the hell would you do that? Well, I personally can't do it, but like we could sell the idea. <laughs> we'll sell it to like a corporate sequel. big wig and he'll have him buy it. I was like, yeah, I can make like a battle royale video game with like airsoft guns and <laughs> shit. <laughs> be like I mean, you know, in real life. Now, how fun would a video game be if you had like an airsoft gun instead of a real gun? <laughs> <laughs> Not fun at all. <laughs> like shooting plastic at people. Dude, I have to pee so badly again. I'm like dancing in my chair trying to. Make <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna see who lo who won the battle, but I mean. Now it's a new battle. See who tonight's loser is. Tonight's biggest loser is Sal. Imagine. I mean, I, I haven't watched Practical Jokers in a long time, but that show's been on for like 10 years, right? It's so probably funny. longer. It'll always be funny. Yeah. But I, I don't get how people don't like recognize them in the street. Like, I, I can only imagine. No, like, they probably the do, but they probably the record for so long that, like. I mean, how many cuts do you think that takes? That's, like, I, so much. I can't promise, but I feel like there's people that, like, are out there who know who they are and, like, know what they do, and they're like, yeah, all right, we'll play along. Just, like, like fuck with them? No, but, yeah, Not like, we'll, them, we'll play, play along. along just so that way, like, they don't have to do this recording again and they can, like, do this, that, and the next. Like, I'd like to think I would. that. I always see Impractical Jokers, I play a lot. but I also, besides Impractical Jokers, I always see uh, South Park, like, every night. Wow. It's on Comedy Central, like, oh, every you have live TV. single night. And yeah, Ridiculousness on MTV. Really? Ridiculousness. That's still a thing? 
Oh yeah, dude. Oh my bad to whoever. What was that Deer Deck show? Yeah. I really oh need my to, like, bad get Deer the... Deck. I didn't even know that <laughs> exists. I didn't even know he was still relevant. My bad, dude. I watched an episode of that with my girlfriend the other day. I need to get fucking Hulu with live TV. I don't know. I just we have a cable cord in our apartment. <laughs> Yeah, our, our school's got know. cable, so we just kind of. I wish I had cable. Yeah. I don't. I barely ever watch TV, but like, when the people in the apartment are just like sitting around, like at the end of the night, like three, four a.m., South Park will just be on. Yeah, TVs would be like a thing of the past. So I'll be like streaming certain fucking channels. Mm -hmm. Like paying five dollars a month for a certain group of channels. It's. Bro, they would be making tremendous amounts of money if they just came out with, like, a package that was, like, I want to buy, like, specific channels and, like, specific Yeah, but you can't now because shows. all these other companies have the rights to the show. Uh, yeah, that's the issue. The only thing is the, the rights and clauses and contracts, but... Yeah, the monster's already been created. Mm-hmm. You just have to... Play like, the, lines, only, but... the only three shows that I wanted to get Hulu for were Atlanta, um... South Park and Boondocks, and in a matter Another of all HBO. I think Atlanta's the only one that's still there, and I think FX is flirting with getting it away from there and back to just exclusively like FX. My whole like experience of Hulu was compromised. Two seconds. He you said had it. You said you had it for two seconds. I can't hold it in anymore. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he lost the battle. I oh. did. It was bad, man. It was really bad. <laughs> well, I mean, as we kind of come to a close, did you guys want to, like, mention anything specific? Not really. I got nothing. We got a big Among Us game to play in a couple minutes, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take care of that. So, I mean, yeah, I think we're ready to wrap things up. What do you guys think? Yeah, all right, we'll take this time out to thank everybody who's listening on audio platforms. Talk, yeah. We'll thank all my uh, Spotify people, Apple Music people, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Overcast, Pocket Cast, Radio, something, Google Play, I don't know, all of them. And then uh, the YouTube people, like the video, comment something nice, subscribe, and if you press the bell, you uh, if you press the bell, you might get superpowers. I heard that through the grapevine, but I mean, haven't tried it out myself yet, but go for Try it. it out. Yeah, try it out, please. Thank you to everybody who uh, took the time out of their day to hang out with us. Yeah, guys, thanks for listening, and um, thanks for streaming. And make sure you share us. Make sure you leave us a follow on... Uh, no, Spotify does likes now. Make sure you like us on Spotify. Mm. Um, make sure you subscribe on YouTube. Share with all your friends. Tell a friend and, to um, tell a friend to tell a friend. Exactly. Make your Mondays better. All right, folks. See you guys. See you. Peace out. Peace out.